Good morning, everybody. I'm back to the dream field, uh, but the dream field is more uh, like a swamp today. Uh, you have uh, puddles all over the place and uh, the soil is quite sticky. But um, after the last hunts here, um, I had to come back here. Um, the field is free again and the rain evened it out a bit. So uh, I will give it a try. Let's see what I can find today. Didn't take long and I have my first find here. It's uh, part of a buckle. Yeah. It's uh, the moving part, you know, uh, in the buckle. Um, yeah, this one here uh, goes into the leather hole, you know, to um, to fix it. I can't explain it better, but I think you know what I mean. The buckle would would go around here, you know, and this is the moving part. Nice find. And here we have the first Roman minimum of today. It's very worn. Look how thin it is. No details on this one. Nothing more than a fragment, don't know what it is. Here we have a nice surface find, look here. Uh, let's see what it is. <laughs> Neat find. It's a hard button. You can see the shank on the back side here. Yeah, a hard button. It's a piece of lead, I would say. Yeah. No, it's nothing. Just a piece of lead. Take a look at this back seal here. <laughs> It lost the battle against the plow. It's folded over here. Interesting. My next find is uh, still sticking in the uh, lump of earth here should be a button or a coin you can see the edge here and it is a coin a roman coin and i think 
we will be able to see some details later. Yeah, I think I already see the emperor's head here on this side. Can you see it or is it just imagination? I don't know. I think here you have the face. and it looks like the next Roman coin <laughs> and I think this one will be very nice it's half half a Roman coin and it, it is half a follis I think it's one of these Constantine coins, but I'm not sure. I have to give it a clean. Lovely signal, but only a fragment of some sort. I, I think it is zinc. I opened up a lump of earth and this came out of it strange thing yeah, it's modern I would say but it was a nice moment hmm. don't know what it could be But it looks familiar, I don't know, I, I've seen something like this before, but I can't tell you where and... Uh, I don't know... Hmm. Any ideas? Finally, the sun managed to break uh, through the mist. Uh, the first sunbeams uh, yeah, arrived here. 
and I found my next Roman Minim. It looks quite grotty, but uh, there are parts on the coin where I can see details or where I think I see details, I don't know. Have to give it a wash. Nice little thing here. Look at this. It's a plate. Uh, copper plate, I would say. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was used to fasten something, I don't know. But it has a medieval appearance. Could be wrong, but uh, hmm. that uh, that's what came into my mind spontaneously. Nice find here. We have a musket ball here. And it should be caliber 17 millimeter. It's a huge and thick and heavy bullet. I think I mentioned it a thousand times <laughs> uh, since the beginning of my filming. I just love finding thimbles. Beautiful finds. They are broken most of the times because they are very fragile objects. That's why I'm leaving the muck inside for transport. It stabilizes uh, the object so that it won't break. Yeah, always happy when I find thimbles. Quite deep. Be a cartridge in depth. Yes, it is. Fifty caliber. Very promising. I'm not sure if you can see it here. a beauty. It's a Roman coin. I would say a follis. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a beauty. I don't know why some of them are grotty as anything and then 
something like this pops out of the ground every once in a while. Look at this beautiful coin here. Amazing. On this side you can see the goddess or the god writing. I think this one should be easy to define. Beautiful. That is exactly what I meant uh, talking about the state of the coins. I mentioned it in the clip before. Some of these coins pop out of the ground in a horrible state like this one here. You can only see traces of design. And uh, other coins come, come up like uh, minted one day ago. It's uh, strange. I think it's, it has something to do with the alloy. Big signal directly in the puddle. <laughs> but it's out already. fragment of a 50 caliber cartridge. What a lovely signal it gave. My finds of today. Here we have a lead bag seal. Uh, I don't know what this is. It looks interesting. This uh, could be from the medieval times, but I'm not sure. Don't know. Here we have a thimble, part of a buckle, a neat heart um, button, one, two, three, four, five, six Roman minims, and two um, follies. This one is very rich in detail and very nice. Uh, here you should uh, be able to see something as well later. And of course I found some trash as well today. Uh, cartridges and so forth. When I came here this morning, it was very uncomfortable. It was very misty and cold. I was dragging a lot of earth around with me. Uh, it was not very nice. But uh, the day turned out to be great. The sun is shining and the soil dried uh, quite fast. So I didn't have any problems uh, with uh, the weather anymore. And the outcome of the day is uh, lovely as well. A handful of uh, Roman minims and two lovely Roman follies. What more can you expect? It's just wonderful. And as I said before, I will never get used to uh, finding these uh, Roman minims and these Roman coins. Uh, just because it is a common find on my field doesn't mean that I get used to it. It will be always uh, a special feeling for me to hold these uh, coins in my hand after almost 2000 years it's uh, overwhelming and um, i'm very grateful to be able to detect the field like this yeah guys i hope um, you enjoyed this video and i hope you will uh, join me on my next hunt as well so please stay tuned on my channel and if you haven't uh, subscribed already i would be pleased if you do thank you for that 
Until next time, I say good luck and happy hunting. Bye bye, au revoir und auf Wiedersehen. Thank you.